Cops are trusted to uphold the law, but what happens when their misdeeds are exposed? Here are four times when idiot cops realize they've been found out. Sir. Put your hands behind your back. This is my phone. Put Hello? it down. Can you tell me what's going on? Just put your hands behind your back before you end up on the ground. I'm trying to drop my phone. Hello? Are you telling me what this is about? You're being detained for a minute. You're matching the description of someone trying to break into people's cars. Um, I'm not breaking anyone's car. This is Officer Michael McMaster from the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. On March 4th, 2022, in the early morning hours, Officer McMaster responded to a call regarding an individual who was attempting to break into someone's vehicle in Evans Mill Subdivision, Paulding County, Georgia. The description provided by the suspect stated that the male wore a hoodie and carried a backpack. As Officer McMaster arrived on the scene, he observed a 30-year-old individual named Tyler Canaris walking along the roadside at the entrance to the subdivision. Watch what happens when Officer McMaster thinks he got the suspect. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get your hands out of your pockets. Turn up the chains, by the Excuse me. You're being detained, bud. Don't take your backpack off. Um. Take your backpack off. Excuse me. What am I doing? Take your backpack off. Um. Can you explain what this Before is Before you go on the ground, take your backpack off. I'm going going to get picked up for work. Come on. Come on. Since we want to play this game. Sir. Put your hands behind your back. This is my phone. Put Hello? it down. Can you tell me what's going on? Just put your hands behind your back before you end up on the ground. I'm trying to drop my phone. Hello? Are you telling me what this is about? You're being detained for a minute. You're matching the description of someone trying to break into people's cars. Um, I'm not breaking anyone's car. No! <laughs> Obstruction, at least. How? I literally just you didn't want to. Help. You didn't want to listen. Put your hands behind your back. That's simple. Then I told you you're going to end up on the ground. You I, still didn't do that. I was even Then your ass to. ended up on the ground, didn't I, it? I wasn't even trying to. You wasn't trying to. I'm How old are you? Please. How old are you? I'm 29. You're older than me. Act like a man. I'm just trying to get to work. I'm seriously not trying to do anything. Please. <laughs> After Officer McMaster orders him to comply and submit his backpack, he refuses to do so. Mr. Canaris was astonished and was not able to comprehend what was happening to him in such early morning hours. Observe what Officer McMaster is about to do. Next fire. All you do is take his backpack off, turn around, put his hand behind the back. We wouldn't have played this game. P1 gets it off of scanning. What is it? P1.
Oh, okay. Let's see if you got any money. <laughs> right? <laughs> My wife likes to leave her car on lock. I don't think he actually got into a car. Um, yeah. I dropped him on his head right there. Oh, okay, cool. I got boo boos too, so I'm okay. Where but is yeah, he? He's in the back of my car. Just make sure he's. Yeah, I think that's a blood spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deputy McMaster slammed Mr. Canaris to the ground and placed him under arrest. Following the arrest, medical personnel evaluated Canaris on the scene. He was then transported to the hospital by the sheriff's office for a thorough medical evaluation. Sheriff's officials later confirmed that Canaris was not breaking into cars, though he was charged with obstruction of justice. Mr. Canaris plans to pursue legal action against the sheriff's office and the officers involved. Mr. Canaris is suffering from broken bones and ruptured eardrums, which has cost him $75,000 as medical expenses. Officer McMaster was fired from his job several days after this incident. If you think this was the only cop who was found out, wait until you watch this next case. If you want to talk to anybody, no, you can do it over there. Is, there. is there a court order saying I'm not allowed to be here? Unless I'm conducting business. They can allow or not allow anybody. That's not how it works. Yes, it is. That's not how it works. Can you please identify yourself, please, sir? This is Sergeant Joseph T. Gatta from the Schenectady Police Department. On September 16th, 2022, a First Amendment auditor and a YouTuber, Daniel Castillo, visited the City Hall in New York to pick up his marriage license from there. Mr. Castillo kept filming the entire visit as per his rights. For those who don't know, the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution grants citizens the freedom of speech and the freedom of the press. As he kept recording his visit, he was denied entry inside a public office by Officer Michael Wager. Watch what happens when Officer Wager calls some backup. What's up? That pending court issue is escorted to court. Uh, the standing orders in place. Right. He was going to investigate. She can't go to offices. He said he had to go to the mayor's office, had an appointment, had some business. I checked it down, and they said because of pending litigation, they want to speak to him. Okay. I explained the process that if we wanted to talk to him in the office, we, we do it outside the security checkpoint. We bring people down, and they assist him in any way. I allowed him to walk from the outside areas here. He tried to get in the clerk's office, so we let him in. Okay. So that's kind of where we stand now. What's up, sir? How's it going? Can you uh, please identify yourself? Sergeant okay. Joseph Gatta. Joseph Agati? Gatta. Gatta. Yep. Joseph Gatta. Right Badge here. number, please. Huh? Badge number 2111. Yep. What is the ultimate goal here? I. You can't just hang out here all I'm day. I'm not hanging so. out. Did okay. you not hear just what he said? Yeah. He just said that I'm trying to go to the clerk's office. But you can't go there. So. Why not? Because you. He's not allowed in there, right? Why not, though? It's pending investigation. Any business conducted outside. Yeah. Is that a court order? If you want to talk to anybody, no, no, you can do it over there. Is, there. is there a court order saying I'm not allowed to be here? Unless I'm conducting business. They can allow or not allow anybody That's not how it here. works. Yes, it is. That's not how it works. Can you please identify yourself, please, sir? Dallas Andros. Badge number 61, you said? Awesome. And you? Do you want him out of here? Or? 40. He's, you know, I let him walk in the hall and videotape, but hurt by the order of Chief Whipple. Any business could be conducted so, outside the security check. So here's, the, the, here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. What staff member do you need to talk to, sir? So you're going to you're gonna help me? Because he's not helping me. He said that he's willing to get a staff member to talk to you, okay. but you have to do it so over there. I'm, why are you telling me I have to? Well, you don't even have paperwork yourself stating that, what he's saying. Okay. He says the assistant chief of police... Yep. Brian Whipple, right? Yes. He's the one who said that, <laughs> yes. right? Where's the paperwork saying that? I don't carry around all of our orders well, in my pocket. Should, I'm going to need you, right, to do what you normally do is investigate. I am. Okay, and find out if there is such order. I am. I'm because, familiar with who you are. Okay, so I know you, you are. I know you are. So, it's I'm, I'm right. it's verbal. See what I mean? Okay. It's, it's, it was never told to me. It's told to them. I was never mailed anything. It's not legal. <laughs> okay, but they're not going to allow you in any of the offices. Which... They have no right. You know what they're yes, doing, they do. right? No, they're violating my rights. Officer Wager argued that he could not enter the city clerk's office on orders of the police chief. However, the city clerk's office has been labeled as a public property for anyone to visit and film. Watch how the interaction unravels. All right.
All right, and if he refuses? If he refuses, then he can be arrested. Okay, perfect. For the violating, you know, for, um, the recording. Okay. But he can record, you know, that we see be allowed to record up to the, the, um, security, security post. Security when, when, when it comes down, yes. Okay. I don't, I don't know what the law is for not being able to record. I know there's like a, I know there's like something that the court officers do, but I don't know what that is. Yep. Here's the paperwork. Good job. You okay. did great. I have official word great. on everything that you're allowed to do. Do you understand? Don't care because I know my rights. Okay. So, what we going to say here? Oh, so he's allowed to be any... to say something? Oh, can, you can tell me the incident number, please. Okay, you're allowed to be incident anywhere number. you want in the building. I don't want to hear You cannot that. record in here anymore. So, I can't record in here anymore. No. A city hall representative shows up and assures Mr. Castillo that he does not have to enter the city clerk's office and his work can be done without doing so. Watch what Sergeant Joseph Tigata does when he goes to get Mr. Castillo the marriage certificate that he requires. Is that what you guys are saying? I'm telling you, you can't record past that area right <laughs> Who there. Who said that to you, though? I'm just curious. The chief of police. The chief, Eric Clifford. Yes. The chief of police stated yes. that I am not allowed to You can only here. record in city hall up until the security entrance and then nowhere beyond. So where's the statute for that? Huh? What federal statute? What written law? I'm just, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just curious. Yeah. I'm just curious. Okay. What law is that? I'll, I'm going to find out soon. I just yeah, got word. Sergeant Gatter received a call from the police chief where they discussed Mr. Castillo's matter. The police chief argued that Mr. Castillo should not be permitted to record inside the building. And if he fails to comply, he shall be removed and arrested. Watch what is about to happen. So you're just making up. I'm making up anything. You're a clown, man. Okay. Uh, Please, I'm, I'm actually, Are you done here, then? Uh, do not rush me. Are you I'm done talking, here, then? conducting business still. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Andrews, thank you very much. Your, your official business is all set, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm walking out right now. Way. Stop touching me. Back up, dude. Get out of my face. You can turn off that Get right out of now. my face. You can turn that off I'm right walking now. out. Okay. Get out of my go. face. Go. Go. Tyrant. Go. Get out of my... Dude. Go. Your body camera's on, right? Yes, it is. Good. Go. Good. You're f***ing done. I want the incident Perfect. I'll give it to you outside. Let's go. Clown. Come on. Do something. I dare you. I dare you to do something, clown. Go. Stop, stop touching me. Keep walking. Stop touching me. Keep walking. I'm walking. Keep walking. I'm walking. Keep walking. I'm walking. You want to intimidate people? Keep walking. Go ahead. Back up. You're not walking at back all. Back up. Nope. Back up. No. You back, back up. up. That's the entrance. You're in my space. Yeah, Turn you, around. You're in my space. Your business you're is over. You're in my space. Turn around. Back the f up. Turn around. Yo. Get off me. Get off Thank me. you. Go. Come back up. Go. Don't touch me. I'm telling you. You don't make anyone You're nervous. Fucking I don't have to. Okay, it's because you got a gun and a badge, right? Go. You're a criminal go. with a badge. Go. You're setting a bad example for your your, your teammates, man. Okay. Go. Clown. You see that, right? You guys see that for yourself. Violating my Fourth Amendment rights. Okay. Violating my First Amendment rights. Violating my Fourteenth Amendment rights. Okay. Section One. Tyrant. How many? Violations are you committing right, right now? Now you can't record yeah. past oh, there you're, anymore. You're, 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 you're Follow me. Follow me. Thank you. What you thought? Yo, this guy put his hands on me, yo. Sure That's did. Okay. He's, he's a clown. I watched them all go he's in. Down. I knew they weren't getting out of here. And he's the a brick up. anyways because this is got his car running and we paying for that tax. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, thank you. Yes, I did. It'll all be documented. It'll all be documented. <laughs> Mr. Castillo was eventually removed from the building after a long verbal skirmish. Sergeant Gatta left the scene without any arrests. If you think this was the maximum a cop can be found out, then you probably aren't aware of this next case. Sir, I'm not saying you're not You are. To you are. By your presence here, okay. bothering me while I'm working is telling me I'm not allowed to do this. Okay. I'm sorry you feel that way. Okay. But I'm investigating why we're getting calls about someone walking around. Walking around isn't a crime, though. I never said it was a crime, but I still so have you, the right to no, detain. No, you do not. Okay. 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 So I'm being illegally detained right now is what That's you're telling what you me. Want to say, okay. Sure. okay. Okay. This is Officer Ashley Glantz from the Jacksonville Police Department. On January 5th, 2024, a YouTuber was cycling around in Jacksonville, North Carolina. 
He regularly cycles on this route and stops by to capture videos and pictures of the scenic beauty around him. As he took several videos near the Jacksonville Police Department, Officer Glance approached the YouTuber to inquire about what he was doing. Excuse me? Hey, you, sir. All right, how can I help you? Is there a reason I'm doing a job? Yeah, to make money. Okay, uh, people have just been calling, just thinking it's kind of weird. It's journalism, I'm sorry. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's protected under the First Amendment, so. Uh, I'm not saying you're not Sorry about that. that. All right, but hold on, hold on. Am I being detained? Yeah, right now I'm For doing... what, for which, which crime? So I'm further investigating why you're walking around. What crime, that's not a crime. Walking around okay, isn't a crime. Detain... You have to articulate a crime before you can okay, detain me. Detain Supervisor. Supervisor, okay. Yep. You can't detain just anyone. You have to yes. articulate a crime. I can detain You're incorrect. You while I, while I further Get your supervisor and let's let's find out. Okay. Okay. Great, Name and badge number. Thank you. Do you have your ID on you? I do not. Can you dispatch a supervisor to my location? Hello. So, I'm assuming he's the one that complained. No. I don't even know who complained. It came out as anonymous. This is a constitutionally protected activity, so I'm being harassed right now, basically. My neighbors are calling me saying, hey, there's some dude running around. Recording, yeah. So I showed up because I'm like, oh, yeah, In public, on the, on the public I, sidewalk. Sir, I'm not saying you're not you allowed are. to record. You are. By your presence here okay. bothering me while I'm working is telling me I'm not allowed to do this. Okay. I'm sorry you feel that way. Okay. But I am investigating why we're getting calls about someone walking around. Walking around isn't a crime, though. I never said it was a crime, but I still so have you, the right to no, detain. No, you do not. Okay. 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 So I'm being illegally detained right now is, is what you're telling you me. Say, okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. But you are failure. You're not identifying yourself. You're refusing. What crime have I committed? So at the end of the day, if law it's not the end. This is the beginning. So if law enforcement requests your identification, right? Your name, your date of birth, your ID card, your driver's license number. You are obligated to give that to law enforcement. No, you're not. Okay. Not unless you can articulate a crime. So I can articulate that this walking is around is not behavior. suspicious. Isn't a crime. Okay, but it is something we have to investigate. It's not a crime, so I don't have to comply with anything. I don't have to help you help you in your investigation. Okay. Well, I am asking you to identify yourself. You are refusing. I haven't committed a crime. That doesn't matter. You're it does matter. No, I do not. Okay. You are incorrect. Okay. Well, you're about to learn. I hope this is your supervisor. He's about to school you if, okay. it, if it's your actual supervisor. Okay. How are you, sir? Doing all right. Yeah. All day. I just got here. Oh, I'm trying to end my day. Right. That's not my supervisor. Well, that's not going to help then. It has to be in a timely manner. You understand that, right? I understand that okay. the city of Jacksonville is quite large. It's not. It's not. It's not large at all. A13. That's not my supervisor. <laughs> it's one of our senior officers. I'm going to get a phone call from my supervisor. You're still not free to leave. We'll see. After a small verbal skirmish, the YouTuber moves ahead to capture the license plates of the cop cruisers. He, after returning to his bicycle, attempts to leave. However, observe what the cops do with him. Hard to believe a citizen out here would actually have a degree and know what they're talking about, huh? It's all right, we're, we're going to stop all this corruption. You doing all right? I don't answer questions. Okay. Especially when I'm being illegally detained. Well, I already told you if you're going to. 
leave. Am I free to go? If you want to go, you don't want to talk to a supervisor? Am I free to go or am I detained? I, I need I need, a, I need an ahead. answer. I'm, I'm not detained. Just so you know, sir, this is the Jackson Police Department. So there's Great. gates and everything, the fence and everything. Great. Just don't enter into that. That's okay. fine. Cool. I'm on the sidewalk. It's where I've been the whole time yep. before I was harassed. More than welcome to stay there. So, go. once again... You've been proven wrong by your own coworker here. You have a great day, sir. I, I'm having a great day. I'm not breaking the law. I'm right here on the sidewalk in public, exercising my constitutional right. Hey, sir. The officer asked you for your name and the information. What crime do you suspect me of? Well, like she explained to you, she's report she's investigating suspicious activity. Suspicious isn't a crime. Okay. I'm sorry. I know y'all wish it was, but it's not. Okay. Are, are you going to give her your name? And your no. I haven't committed so what a crime. Are you, what are you on doing, sir? I'm doing my job, trying to, without being harassed. Okay. Well, I'm just your... gathering content for a story, and y'all want to harass me over it. Okay. What's your job? You're a writer? Obviously, I'm a journalist. Okay. Well, how is that obvious? I'm gathering content for a story. Okay. Well, Who else does that? Do mechanics do that? Excuse me? I said everybody with a cell phone isn't a journalist. Uh, if they choose to be, they are. It's in the Constitution. Okay. Cell phones make you a journalist? If, to, if that's what you choose to do, yeah. Okay. You need any help? Yeah. Hmm? I mean, I guess I'm investigating suspicious activity. Suspicious isn't a crime. I'm calling multiple people about something reporting. Fully legal. If law enforcement asks for the identification, you are required to identify You are not. Why am I not in jail right now, then? Because we're trying to not go that route by you not identifying yourself. So technically... You see, I got bail money. So, I mean, if, if y'all really want to press it. So technically, I can arrest you right now for resist obstructed life. You're obstructing my investigation. I'm not as, no, no, I haven't obstructed anything. I don't, you know, I don't have to help you in your investigation. I don't have to help you identify anyone. That's helping your investigation. That's your job. That's what I pay you to do. Sure, you understand that. She's just trying to gain your compliance, right? That's not my problem. I don't want to take you to jail, but also, I'm doing my you job. You clearly do, because this is a legal, constitutionally protected activity that you're harassing me over. And then you're lying to me, telling me I have to submit ID to any officer that asks. No, that's incorrect. If you suspect me of a crime and you can articulate it, then yes, I will surrender ID. We cleared up in court. We're not in court, sir. We can be very I easily. Would, I would like to avoid that. I, I would rather not because this is going to keep happening until you guys are taught a lesson. What's that, sir? That you, can't, that you can't bully people into giving ID when you don't have you don't suspect a crime. Sir, no, nobody is trying to bully you into anything. She just told me she could take me to jail if I don't give her my ID. What she's trying to make you sure you understand is when law enforcement are investigating something. They can investigate whatever you want. You have to suspect me of a crime. What crime do you suspect me of? Right all now, she can all she can articulate is suspicion, not listen. a crime. You're gonna listen to her? You ask me questions. Do you want the answers? Not really. I know the answers. You, you think I would answer. come out here and not know? <laughs> Just see if you know them. Trust me, I do. You clearly don't. Okay. Like you see the time like you realize this is costing me job money right now? You're costing me time? No problem. Am I detained or am I free to go? Right now you're detained. Sir. Okay. For what for what crime do you suspect me because of? Because she's following up on investigation. The YouTuber was detained and later handcuffed by the officers on the scene. He was arrested and charged with resisting and obstruction. It is uncertain whether the YouTuber intends to pursue any sort of legal action. If you think this was the last cop who was found out, then you haven't heard of this next case. Touching me? Touching me? You're touching me? Off the property. Stop touching me, please. Off the property. Stop touching me, please. It doesn't. I have been asked to leave. It doesn't matter. You can't be asked to leave. Yes, you can. Listen, time out. Yes, you can. No, you can't. You want to come in for police business? Listen, no, no, no. I don't even need police business. Even if I wasn't here for police business, it doesn't matter. This is Joshua Bergeson from the New London Police Department. On August 20th, 2022, a YouTuber named Daniel Kokoska, with another individual, was filming inside the parking lot of a police station in New London, Connecticut. Watch what happens when the cops observe Mr. Kokoska and his friend filming. What are you guys doing? Filming. For what? Is it Ken? Is it? Yeah, that's fine. You like it. What? 
never seen one girl. Any reason you're filming? Don't want to answer any questions? What about you? You want to answer any questions? Or? Mr. Kokoska refused to answer any questions asked by the officers. For those who don't know, the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution allows citizens to refrain from answering law enforcement questions if they believe their responses might unreasonably incriminate them. Observe what happens when the officers approach the auditors. Thank you for doing the right thing. All right, you guys are done now. No. So, yeah. Uh -huh. For what? You're, I'm asking you to leave the, the, the I have not done the thing. I'm asking you to leave private property now. Get out of the lot. Not private property. Do you have to leave business here? Yes. I'm going to the lobby now. I'm asking you, okay, you can go to the lobby, but. No, no. Yep. You're not going to go to the lobby. You can leave. I'm not doing anything. I'm not asking you. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Are you, are you here for doing business? Does it so, matter? Yes. You're, you're, now in a, you're now in a private lot and you're being asked to Where's leave the a sign? Where's the sign? I'm telling you now. It doesn't go. matter. Leave no, this. no, no, no. Let's no, go. No, no, no. Off not the property, works. please. That's not how this works. Let's go. Not. I'm not asking you. Okay. Get off the property. I'm not. Let's go. I'm not. Then you're going to end up downstairs in our lockup. Okay. You need to leave now, please. For what? You're not. You're not here for police business. I just told you I was going in the lobby. Okay. Now. Then you can go up in the lobby. I can go up in the lobby. Yep. when I'm ready. No. There's no time you, limit. Okay. okay. You're, you're not, not going to be out here, out here with, 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 with private. Where's with, the, with officers where are your personal. signs? Okay. I'm telling where you. Where are your signs? There are no signs. But exactly. You're being, you're so giving, I'm, you're being given I'm a lawful be, order no, to disperse. What law? Disorderly conduct. I'm being. You're being given. Yes. Let's go. You want here? Disorderly conduct. Let's go. Come on. Disorderly conduct. Let's go. You want to call it? Let's do it. Let's go. You want to call it? Let's do it. Because I'm doing nothing wrong. No. 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 Why you got to come out here and bust balls? Bust balls? You came out here. I was doing nothing wrong. You're out here filming people's cars. I'm allowed to. Okay. Again. Again, what? Do you so, have anything so better I'm allowed to do? To. Come then, do thank this? you. I'm not going to answer right. any more questions. Let's I'm going to continue doing what I was doing. You're touching me? You're touching me? You're touching me? Off the property. Stop touching me, please. Off the Stop touching me, please. It doesn't. I have been asked to leave. It doesn't matter. You can't just ask to leave. Yes, you can. Listen, time out. Yes, No, you can't. You want to come in for police business? Listen, no, no, no. I don't even need police business. Even if I wasn't here for police business, it doesn't matter. You're not going to stand out. This is public property. I can stand out. No, no. You're being asked to leave. It doesn't matter. I haven't done anything wrong. You need to commit a crime or be suspected of a crime. Like, how are you this high and you don't you're even know that? Being asked and then you're putting leave, your sir. hands on me? What's you're wrong with you? You're being asked to leave. You need to go do your homework. Okay, I'm doing my homework. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you need to go you read the laws. The property, no, sir. I need to commit a crime for you to have me leave public property. This you're is not, not private. being given a lawful order no, to leave lawful. the property I need, by a what's police the law? officer. Okay, trespass. That's not, no, no, no. You can't trespass me for public property when I haven't broken a law. Okay. Come on. Are you here for police business? I just told you I was. Okay. Then what is the police business you're here for? I don't need for? to tell you. Yes, you do. No, you're I don't. You're not here for police business. I, well, I don't need to tell. Is. All right, I'm not going to answer any more questions, okay. and I'm standing right here until I'm ready to go inside. Then we're going to stand right here with go you. Go ahead. Okay. I got all night, dude. I got till seven o'clock in the morning. Can you start touching me? Can you? No. I can, I'm allowed to move. Okay. So am I. Okay. Just keep touching me. Let's go. Jay, okay, take your camera out. Uh, Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Do you really want to do this? I don't care because I haven't done Let's anything go. wrong. You're the one making yourself look like you a clown. the property. No. Too. You don't need to be if on If you property. had a reason and uh, you could really arrest me, you already no, would have done it. I don't know why you don't feel like leaving me downstairs all weekend. I really don't. I don't believe that. This is the... You this is no what? need to be down here, dude. I can be... Yes, I do. What, what I'm not going to tell you, but I can be here. here. What is your police I, business? I'm doing what I need to do. Okay. So if you go near a personal car, I'll go near whatever. Okay. I'm going to tell you. No, no. If you go I'm going to tell you. you I'm done. Here. No, 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 no. Because now I can stay here, and now no, I can do that. Because I got better. Do this. No, because now you, you're wrong. No, you know, so I, I can better, record I those cars. I can record any okay. car in this parking lot. If I, I catch you touching a vehicle or trying to open a door, I'm going to. I want to arrest you. The officers threatened the auditors to leave the parking lot, or else they would be arrested. The auditors refused to comply and kept arguing that their stay was lawful and they were not committing any crime. Now it goes to that. Did you see me do that before okay. you touched no, me and did all I that? Catch you doing did you did you see me? I got do better it? to do. Deal. That's what you keep saying, but stuff. you're out here. Okay. You would never came out here if you had something better but to I do. Say, if you need something, come up in the lobby and deal with it. I'll be up there when I'm ready. We're all set. Thank you. Losers, you're a you're a loser. You are a loser. Go find something better to do with your life. Me? You're the one that came running outside like some tough guy, you clown. What a waste of time. Oh, I'm a waste of time. That's why you're out here wasting time. Bunch of geniuses. Yo, now leave them after you already touched me. Loser. 
How many times did you touch me, clown? How many? That's all you're going to do six if you can. Go on the first little card right now. What are you going to do? And I ain't even looking at them before. Now I will. Who's above you inside? I need to talk to a supervisor. Out of curiosity, why? I mean, Saturday night, you guys can't go somewhere, hang out, like, we decided tonight was the night to film the police department parking lot. Yeah, it's a hobby. Lieutenant Ferguson, 606. Yep, Lewis 665. Sadowski 688. Sadowski 688. Another one? Lewis 665. You guys need to be better. <laughs> Oh, can I help you? Yeah, if you uh, get a supervisor. One of them, yeah. Um, so I was outside, walking through your parking lot, taping. Your officers, three of them came out. Supervisors started pushing me around, um, giving unlawful orders. Um, giving out what, what kind of orders? Unlawful. Kept trying to tell me I'm trespassing and I'm disorderly when I wasn't doing anything. Well, it's a lawful order. Yeah, if you're doing it. But if you're, you're committing that crime, it's a lawful order, but when you're not. Oh, if you read the statute for trespass first, after giving a lawful order, regardless, yeah, you have to be committing a crime. regardless of if it's posted or not. No, yeah. but you have to be committing a crime to be trespassed on public property. All right. Well, I'm not going to argue with you on that. Oh, oops. Okay. You're just like the rest of them. I need three complaint forms, and uh, how do I request that body cam footage? I have to go do an FOI. Through here, though? Or where? Yeah. Town Hall? Through record? Mm hmm Okay, so how do I get the complaints? You want a complaint form? How many? No, three. Three, Four. three complaints. But there's two of you. But you. You can put more than one officer on a form. Is that what you're no, asking? No, I want to put, I do them individual. So you want four? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. I get your name badge number? Yeah, right there. Okay, thank you. Right. You guys have better for Okay. <laughs> Mr. Kokoska went inside the police department to collect the document to file a formal complaint. After his complaint was filed, the new London Police Department launched an internal investigation. The investigation revealed that Officer Burgesson was found guilty of violating the department's policies and procedures. He was subsequently suspended for eight days without pay and was subjected to attend a training. It's upsetting to see cops who are meant to uphold the law being exposed for their ill doings. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.